generation of fucking losers. Andrew Tate is well known for his ideas on self-improvement, mindset, and success. This could indicate a conflict of beliefs or moral principles. Let's see some of his further updates. Born on December 1, 1986, Andrew Tate III is a British-American businessman, media personality, and former professional kickboxer. He started kickboxing in 2005, and in 2009, he won his first title. When he made an appearance on the British reality show Big Brother in 2016, he gained more notoriety. After a video showing Tate repeatedly hitting a woman with a belt surfaced, the two claimed the incident was consensual, and Tate was fired from the show. When Tate, his brother Tristan, and two women were detained in Romania in December 2022, it made headlines throughout the world. They are all suspected of engaging in human trafficking and forming an organized criminal ring. The organization allegedly forced victims to produce paid pornography, according to Romanian police. All four were detained upon their arrest and placed under house arrest in March 2023 while the investigation was ongoing. They were accused of rape, human trafficking, and organizing an organized crime ring to take advantage of women sexually in June. Tate and his siblings refute all allegations. Andrew Tate has once again won over his admirers with a $10,000 donation to a devoted follower. Considering the motivation, some people could even believe the donation is unnecessary. One of the accounts that further Tate's cause, Morpheus Resist, recently put up a query on social media asking who would be willing to pay $1 million to have the history of his brother and Cobra permanently erased. Naturally, one of Tate's devoted followers turned down the virtual offer since he didn't want the good forces to vanish. Michael Cove, a Twitter user, wrote, No chance. I don't want the good forces, which are few in this world, to vanish, even though I could use 1M, refused to accept the cash. Andrew Tate promised the fan $10,000, so it seems like he was rather happy with the fan's guarantee of loyalty. A user named Cobra posted, DM me Michael Cove 10K coming your way. The Tate siblings recently contributed to the expense of renovations for a boxing facility that had been broken into and to the legal fees of a man defending his girlfriend. Cobra promised to donate $100 million to protecting males while he was incarcerated, and more recently, he committed to provide $25 million to charity overall this year. Andrew Tate was praised by fans for supposedly donating $10,000 to a devoted follower. More admirers began to swear allegiance and talk about how the Tate siblings had improved their lives. Some even stated that they would pass up a $10,000 deal to simply speak with Cobra. The knowledge, truth, and wisdom that the Tates have imparted to the world is far more vital than money," commented Christine Tebby. I am among those who have been totally transformed by their message. My life has improved in ways I never would have thought possible. I'll be eternally grateful for that. In a humorous comment, a fan pointed out that taking $10,000 is more realistic because receiving $1 million out of the blue is bound to generate problems with the IRS. Nada Champay posted, one mil out of nowhere, and the feds are on to me, I'll be happy with 10K as well. Undoubtedly, the Tate brothers and their supporters were devastated to hear the news. Following the arrest, supporters have staged multiple protests across the globe. They think Tate is innocent and that his incarceration was the result of a plot by the Matrix. There have reportedly been multiple unsuccessful attempts to meet Tate. Recently, while Tate was being sent to a different prison, an opportunity presented itself to the fans. After this was finished, fans and members of the media arrived to see the star who was imprisoned. Tate was the only one to encounter a fan whose response eventually went viral on the internet. Following the release of Andrew Tate's prison transfer, how did fans respond? The entire incident is captured in a video that Urising posted. The younger Tate initially appeared, chained and put on a big black coat. He asked people to question the police about their arrests as he was leaving. I would like to know what evidence the police have against me, gentlemen. They are devoid of all. Tristan Tate said, ask the cops. Next up was Top G himself, who seemed more modest than usual, and as usual, focused on the Matrix rather than criticizing anyone. God knows the truth, but the Matrix is trying to frame me, he declared. Since I haven't done anything wrong, there is no proof in my file. A supporter placed a hand on Tate's shoulder as he was speaking to the media and advised him to be strong. A video of him assaulting a woman has surfaced in recent months. However, he was not prosecuted for it, 
and was able to maintain his platform from which to disseminate his harmful beliefs. Many users on various social media sites did, in my opinion, respond ethically, and many began to petition that he be banned from social media and found guilty for his actions. When they realized that everything he did, said or advocated had a tendency to be detrimental, even other influencers started to speak out. Tate was and still is a real person, it was no longer a joke. It's absurd that he was able to live a life free of consequences due to his privilege, and that for others, this was the epitome of what it means to live a life without consequences. This gives his audience the impression that they may live lives dictated by ludicrous beliefs, and that mistreating women is socially acceptable. Let me tell you something. It is neither understandable nor acceptable. In a post on the Instagram account, Shushold Care About, an unnamed teacher at a New Zealand all-boys school described Tate's impact on the children as a poisonous addiction. Talks with their 13 to 15-year-old children include things like, women who are sexually assaulted are asking for it. And if a woman has already had an abortion, she loses the right to use the statement, her body, her choice. The fact that Tate deliberately and abusively uses abusive tactics to disseminate such a porn hatred makes his content harmful even in and of itself. Experts have described the coordinated effort, which involves thousands of students from Tate's private online academy Hustlers University and a network of imitative accounts on TikTok, as a clear attempt to manipulate the algorithm and artificially boost his content. The coordinated effort also involves choosing the most controversial clips in order to achieve maximum views and engagement. This information was reported in a recent article by The Guardian. Some suggest that Tate is mostly joking, and that he occasionally clarifies this after making a dubious statement. But we jump to conclusions too quickly, because only the contentious aspects of him are making the rounds on social media. Even though it might be true that only bad things are shared on social media, this doesn't change the fact that he said it or the underlying damaging and depraved themes that these platforms are enabling to spread. The mere fact that he may say some acceptable things doesn't negate or lessen the negative. It has the same amount of views regardless of whether one is a fan or not, as evidenced by the 17.2 billion views his TikTok hashtag has received. Indeed, everyone is entitled to free expression under the First Amendment and the right to hold their own opinions. However, should we really be giving someone who will trouble future generations' brains a platform? Andrew Tate is more than simply a harmless, nameless internet user who has never been in the spotlight and whose faults haven't been major ones. Andrew Tate is wholly undeserving of the position he held since he actively promotes a society that is hateful and evil. He is not worthy of being reposted, appearing in podcasts, YouTube videos, or edits. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, bye!